Eva trades. Hi guys, well it's Tuesday and um, it's a red day for me. This morning I traded UBS and I traded PAC W, uh, that's P-A-C-W, and I was actually up really good on the day and you know, I finished up $118 on Pack W, which is pretty fantastic. And then I was up, you know, I was up over $100 on UBS. And, you know, UBS I traded yesterday and I didn't do so well on, but I tried it again today. So I was up over 100 and then it was surging up still. So I'm jumping back in it. And this time I'm getting really, really aggressive. And I, and I ended up in multiple positions at the top of the move and then it started dropping fast. So did my heart rate. <laughs> uh, at first, I actually, my heart rate was going up. Um, at first, I held for a bit. I was thinking, well, you know, temporary pullback. Nah, because then it started to drop further. I started seeing more weakness. And by now, I was red on the stock. And, you know, I can't use stop losses. So I started to unwind my position. And after all was said and done, I had taken a whopping $225 loss. <laughs> Okay, that's not, I wasn't smiling this morning, believe me, I was not smiling at all. <laughs> Suddenly I was red on the day, and on top of that, I caught myself jumping back in as it was still falling, trying to catch that falling knife, desperate just to, you know, get back what I lost. But I ended up losing another $25, and then that's when I took a step back, and I'm like, you know what? I realize I'm in a very bad state of mind. And in my distant past, uh, you know, a couple years ago, back before I started perfecting my strategy in the simulator, uh, this is a point where I would spiral out of control and give back months worth of profit. I'm serious, like I would give back thousands and just no control whatsoever. So, you know, I still feel like I want to make that money back. This morning at that point, when I started to realize what was going on, it was almost like I was sitting up above myself and looking down. I know this sounds weird, but I could see myself being triggered. And at that point, I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, I shut my computers down and I walked away. No trade review, no nothing. I didn't even turn on the live stream. I was like, that's it. And this all happened pre-market, right? So... Losing like that, you know, it's a really harsh reminder of every time I've lost in my life. And, you know, our brains are wired to put up a defense to that. And it's my job as a day trader to recognize that when I get into that kind of a situation or into that state of mind so that I don't continue to trade. Now, you know, there's no harm in walking away. Tomorrow's another day. I'll start fresh. I'll start ready to go. So that's all I've got to say for this trade review today. I'm not going to go over the trades today. I'm not going to start up my platform. Um, I'm just going to go about my day. I'll be back first thing tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, and we'll try this again. So I'll update the P&L chart. I'm down. I'm red on the day with a great big upper wick at the top of my chart. Unfortunately, I'm down about $50, which isn't bad, all things considered. Could have been a lot worse. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here at Eva Trades. Bye-bye.